Did you know that today is National Pie Day? So in celebration, Desiree over at Mama Friendly Channel decided to get a bunch of us YouTube channels together to drop videos all about pies today. You can see the playlist down below. Make sure you go check everybody out. Today we're going to be blind baking a pie crust. I made this pie crust earlier. It was frozen. It's been sitting in the refrigerator for a few days to thaw. And now we're gonna roll it out, put it in our pan, and do what's called a blind bake. What that means is I want to go ahead and cook this pie crust because the pie recipe I'm going to be using doesn't need to be cooked afterwards. There's a par bake where you can partially bake a pie crust and then add your filling and then bake the pie. But today we need a fully cooked pie crust to start with. If you are wondering where I got this pie crust recipe from, it was from an Amish Friendship Bread starter. I do have a video where I tried it fresh and I was a little disappointed. It was a little hard to control it from burning. I am hoping we are going to have better luck with this today. We're gonna to start out by adding just a small amount of flour onto my rolling onto my rolling mat. I can see that my crust is starting to crack. So I may need to let this warm up just a bit. Sprinkle just a little flour on top. And just very gently I'm gonna start rolling this out and I'm gonna give myself probably around a nine inch pie crust. It's a very soft, forgiving dough. You just wanna go slow with it, I've noticed. We've rolled out our crust, plenty big, and I'm just going to take this and flip it over. Roll, unroll this. Oops, we had a spot stick. That's all right. One thing I've noticed about this crust is it is quite forgiving and it's easy to kind of put back together. It's almost soft like a cookie dough almost. And then it's up to you if you want to cut all this off or make a decoration with it. This particular crust, I have not had the best of luck making much of an edge. So I'm probably going to just tuck it in here on the sides. So now that I've kind of smushed this in here, I'll go around and just maybe make a small little design here on the edge. I just kind of want to put a flat edge around this. Okay, so now what I want to do is I've got my fork and I'm going to do what some ladies in my church used to do and they would just take a fork and go around and this is just kind of sealing those bits in there that I was kind of playing with. And that's just an easy, simple pie crust. All these little crumbs we're just going to kind of push them in. They'll incorporate just fine if you push them in. Just want to make sure it's not going over the edge and just make it a little more round. And then the next thing you want to do 
is just make holes in the crust because when you blind bake you want to have air that can get through here so that it won't bubble up so bad. Kind of like you're making a cracker. Okay, then I'll take a parchment sheet, stick down in here, and I have beans. I don't have pie weights, but I have these beans that I have dedicated this bag just for baking crust, pie crust. So I'm going to take that and we fill this in and that is going to weight down our crust. And then lastly, what a great saver this is. My friend Carrie over at my table of three gifted this to me last November when she had her pie collaboration and I'm so excited about using this. I know that it is going to save future crusts. It's got this little notch on it so that you can adjust it to whatever size you need for your pie. And I think I may have just found the size we need. And that hopefully will protect my crust because these Amish friendship recipes do tend to burn a little. So in, I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator until my oven is preheated. I'm going to do 425 degrees for 15 minutes. I'm going to take all of this out, put it back in 350 degrees for another 15 minutes. Ooh, that is hot, hot. I'm going to turn the oven down to 375 degrees. We're going to pull our beans out of our pan because my parchment wasn't very big. It would have been better probably to have parchment that would have went over everything but that is not what I had available to me today. And that's okay. It's okay to use what you have. Don't let it stop you from trying something new. I have enough room now that I can just pick it up. And oh, our oven is ready for us now. Get these little rogue beans out of here. I want to make sure that this dries and cools off well before I put it back in my bag and I'll put it back in the refrigerator to use next time. Now I'm going to put this back on again to protect my, it is warm, but I want to protect my pie crust. It has done a good job so far and I'll put this in the oven for probably another 10 minutes to get that bottom crust baked. Okay, our pie crust is officially done. Now I need to let this sit and chill. And if you were worried about that bubble, don't worry, you can already see it starting to fall down. It'll be fine, perfectly fine. 